Well, well, well. After a long, arduous waiting process. How long has it been? Since the original has been hotel, let's take a look and see. The original has been hotel release. The original has been hotel released over four years ago. As a matter of fact, it was October 28th, 2019. Wow. So, damn. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Has it been a minute yet? Wait for it. Now it's been a minute. Hey, out there, all you sinners, heathens, and general pieces of sh Guess what time it finally is? <laughs> what time is it, Alistair? Or not? It's time for Husband Hotel's first full official episode. Ooh. Yeah. If you have a filter to put on that in post production, that'd be legit. Oh, don't worry. That'd be awesome. <clears throat> don't worry. I'll do. I'll do that. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah. Here we are. I Four okay. Later. I am. Uh, I just want to emphasize something real quick. I have been a supporter for uh, Vivzy Pop for a long, long time. Such a long, long time. Yeah. How long <laughs> have I been? Long how long have I been a uh, supporter <laughs> of Vivzy? Hold Sorry. on. Cracking myself up with my stupid Lonely Island references. <laughs> see. How do you see? Oh, membership. I don't really, it doesn't really tell me. A while. But a good while. I've been, I think it was right after, yeah, four years now. I've been supporting Vivzy on, uh, on Patreon. And you know what? I don't regret a single penny spent. You know why? Because we've not only had the hype up for Has Been Hotel, we've also had Hell of a Boss this whole time. Yeah. And it's been a lot of fun. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there who are still upset with us just saying, like, oh, how like how can you be so critical? It's just like, dude, if this comes out great, if this comes out to be something truly unbelievable, you know what? I'll eat my words, okay? But for me, my whole deal was when I heard about all the cast getting replaced, I was a bit upset. But then I read what some people were saying in the comments and I understand it now. I understand why a lot of the original cast got replaced. I mean... I didn't read the comments. So <coughs> I, I did. I I read them and here's what I'll say. There were some that were just like vitriolic and just hating us because, you know, we had something to say. But then there were people who were actually understanding and were just like, I get it too, but... You have to understand that they made these decisions based upon not only what the studio wanted, but also the fact that the people who they were bringing in were actually like Broadway singers who were capable of doing everything in this show that was demanded of them. So Which, probably also mostly just because of what the studio wanted. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't doubt for a second it was like a lot of it was because of the studio, but still. Isn't the... So here's the thing. You can Al bring in Broadway singers. Brightman. Alex, Alex Brightman, Brightman is in this. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, what'd you say? You can bring in Broadway singers for the musical parts. You don't have to have them replace the full voice actor. But at the same time, the disconnect, especially if those actors, for, if those Broadway actors can act themselves. I mean... Yeah, they're just trying to give them another light I guess but I guess but I, I don't really know all the detail I know that some of them were replaced and there was a difference when we watched the uh, didn't we watch the trailer for yes this? we watched the trailer and by comparison to the original like pilot it was different yes but I'm willing to give this a chance because Vivzy Pop has Vivzy has not disappointed me yet Mm -mm. So, I'm willing to give this a shot. 
So let's check it out. This is the first official full episode. Uh, I'm willing to give this a shot, by the way, just despite the people who are already trying to cancel Vizzy Pop over this. Oh, time. that's the other thing, too. So uh, anyone out there who is so desperate to cancel Vivzy because of shit she may have done in the past or people she may have... It's not even stuff she did in the past. It's people trying to cancel the show just for what it is. Well, you know what? I think that if you don't like it, go watch something you like. <laughs> like, let other people who enjoy this kind of stuff just let it be. That, that would undermine their whole how hobby you, of how, foisting their own misery you, onto other people. I just don't... How, how could you say that? How could you say something so demeaning? That means you have zero respect for me. It's like, it, means, it means you don't even... It, 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 it's like you don't no, even know who I am. You oh, do well. you, how and I'll do me. Like, well, that's it. Here's the thing about it. If someone gets mad at me for so, It's like the other day. I saw someone venting on the... Uh, dude, how long has it been since we watched the Saitama versus Popeye death battle? Long time. Exactly. Someone is still venting in the comment section about how much of a piece of shit I am. You know, and how, <laughs> how horrible of a person I am. It's like, you don't even know me, motherfucker. It's a couple of fucking cartoon characters, dudes. <clears throat> Sorry, Katie. You know how yeah, much I... sleep I've lost over that reaction since then? None. Exactly. Why don't you chill? <laughs> Can I have an ear warning next time? You got Sorry. all the way Sorry. up in the red. Sorry. But it's okay. Either way. No biggie. This is Hasbun Hotel first official episode over tour. Here we go. Now I want a bento box. Yeah, with that artwork on it, that'd be cool. I mean, I want the food that's in the bento box. I really don't, though. I'm not very hungry right now. No, chicken and chicken dumplings. And dumplings Once upon a time, here. there was a glowing city protected by golden gates known as heaven. It was ruled by beings of pure light. Angels that worshipped good and shielded all Actual, from evil. Accurate. Lucifer angels. was one of these angels. He was a dreamer with fantastical ideas for all of creation. But he was seen as a troublemaker by the elders of heaven. For they felt his way of thinking was dangerous to the order of their world. So he watched as the angels began to expand the universe in their ways. From the dust of earth they created Adam and Lilith. <clears throat> equals as the first of mankind now? but despite this Wait, what? you coughed when it said her name you, you didn't oh Olivia. Airways. You, no I think it was Lilith from the dust of earth they created Adam and Lilith Lilith, Lilith. yeah oh weird no no that's that's actually in in the Hebrew in the Hebrew Bible Lilith is actually was actually created alongside Adam what you didn't know that Look it up. It's actually really interesting. Hmm. Equals as the first of mankind. But despite this, Adam demanded control and Lilith refused to submit to his will. She fled the garden. Drawn in by her fierce independence, Lucifer found her and the two rebellious dreamers fell deeply in love. Together, they wished to share the magic of free will with humanity, offering the fruit of knowledge to Adam's new bride, Eve, who gladly Ooh. accepted. But this gift came with a curse, for with this single act of disobedience, evil finally found its way into Earth. With it, a new realm of darkness and sin, and the order heaven had worked to maintain was shattered. As punishment for their reckless act, Heaven cast Lucifer and his love into the dark pit he had created, never allowing him to see the good that came from humanity. Only the cruel and the wicked. Ashamed, Lucifer lost his will to dream. But Lilith thrived, empowering demonkind with her voice and her songs. And as the numbers of hell grew, so did its power. Threatened by this, Heaven made a truly heartless decision that every year they would send down an army, an extermination, to ensure hell and its sinners could never rise against them. But Lilith's hope remained, 
and her dream was passed down to their precious daughter, the Princess of Hell. Don't worry, Mom. I'll make you proud. Charlie? Ah! Oh, shit! Did you hear all that? Uh, yeah. I was right there. Sorry. I get pretty worked up after an extermination happens. The story helps. <laughs> I know. Don't worry. I enjoy your theatrics. Are you okay? I'm fine. Just thinking, you know, family stuff. Did you hear from your mom yet? Oof. How long has it been now? Not that long. Only seven years off doing something important, I'm sure. But this kingdom was something she really cared about. Something I care about. Well, at least you aren't alone. I just hope what I'm trying to do here will work. It will. I have faith in you. No. All right, come on. <laughs> Alistair says he has something to show us. Do you like blood, violence, and depravity of a sexual nature? <laughs> of course you do! That's why you're in hell! But what would you say if I told you there was a place to stay that had none of that? Welcome to the Has-Been Hotel, a misguided path to redemption! Founded five days ago by Lucifer's delusional daughter, Charlotte Morningstar! Come place your fate in her inexperienced hands as she tries to work through her daddy issues by fixing you! Here we offer fun things, such as somewhat functional staff and 24-hour pest control custom rooms and just look at this tacky parlor enjoy riveting conversation with our singular resident wow all this and more at the has been hotel your last desperate attempt at salvation starts here so what do you think i'm sorry what the fuck was that uh yeah one note Alistair, I mean, first off, thank you so much for making this seriously amazing. But, um, maybe the tone is a bit off. We want people to want to come here. This makes it look, um... Bad. The word you're looking for is bad. Funny, I was going for hilarious. <laughs> it didn't explain anything about how we're trying to save demons from extermination, which is the whole fucking point. Vaggie is right, Alistair. The commercial was to let sinners know we are trying to help them. Well, my dear, I haven't been active in hell for some time, and everyone remembers me from my radio show, the proper medium to express oneself. But you insisted on this noisy picture box advertisement. So I had a little fun with it. Oh, fun? You had a little fun with it? Well, this is not what we want to represent us. When you showed up here a week ago, you told us you would help run this hotel. Instead, you're mocking us. Nobody's gonna want to come to a place that a powerful overlord like you thinks is a waste of time. What? Oh, boy. If and you're filming a commercial, can I suggest you take better advantage of the talented celebrity you have right here? Angel, you're a porn star. A famous porn star. <laughs> I'll have the horniest <laughs> sinners debatable. knocking these walls down to get in. We are not filming a porn as a commercial. Why not? Sex sells, don't it? I swear, if you film me going at it with Mr. Fancy Talk Creepy Voice here, you'd be rolling in participants willing to stay at this tacky hotel. <laughs> Never going to happen. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Uh, just go back to their first ever conversation. And what can you do, my effeminate fellow? I could suck your dick. Ha! No. <laughs> you lost. I, I appreciate you now. wanting to use your... Just that little close-up of Alistair's <laughs> face, though. Ha! Uh, no. Ha! <laughs> ah, no. Special skills to um, attract folks to the hotel, but I really don't want to exploit you in that way. Oh, please, baby. This body was made to be exploited. I got the arms. I got the stamina. I got the legs. I got the lung capacity. <laughs> oh, I got the legs. The gag reflex, the holes, the chest fluff. Everyone uh, just hold that thought. I'll be right back. You know that friend who won't stop bragging about just like, just, just like. How awesome he is. Well, not just how awesome, but also how loose 
they oh. are with their like their sexual proclivities. Oh. <laughs> I had a friend like that and loved him to death. Funny as hell. Awesome to hang out with. But dear God, he would not be quiet about like the exploits. I hate that kind of stuff. And, and, and here's the thing. So I'm like, I, oh my God, I don't care. Not only that, but it, like, he was talking about like just the most depraved things too. Wow. And, and here's the thing. I couldn't get away because we were on like late night cleaning duty at the movie theater. Oh, and man. we were both just in there in the movie theater and we couldn't leave the theater and until was it was all he was spotless. Talking about. Yeah. He was just like, he was like, so yeah, so I was fucking him in the ass and I got to tell you, it was a, ri-. and I'm just like, shut the fuck up. He's like, oh. no, no, no. You're going to miss the part where I, I can't say that. I yeah. was about to say something. <laughs> Thankfully, just... my assistant manager wasn't that heinous about stuff he talked about. I do remember him at one point, Ooh. just out of nowhere, being like, you ever want to trick a girl into thinking you have infinite stamina, just put a little bit of cocaine on the tip of your dick. Oh, God. And I was like, like, I have cocaine available all the time. And he's like, wow, I'll keep that in mind, though. That Thanks. sounds like something <laughs> That Angel sounds like something does. Angel would say. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, uh, for me, okay... The I also one. remember him being like, you know, you can just hit up like everyone <laughs> you ever went to high school with and you got like a 50-50 shot. You can just be like, hey, it's this guy from a while ago. Want to fuck? Like somebody will say yes eventually. Oh, yes. <laughs> like, they sure will. they will. They will. <laughs> uh, but my whole deal was, it, it, I was, okay. He got to the point where he was talking about just like, dude, you don't, you, you have not lived until you peep on your boyfriend in the bathroom and he doesn't know you're looking at him. I'm like, what in the fuck? You need help. And he's just like, he's like, I don't need help. I need to get laid. Oh my goodness. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I can keep going all night, baby. Hello, dad? Hey, I have a question. If Freaky Face over there is so powerful, then why can't he just make people stay here? Oh, trust me, I can. Why do you think I'm here? You actually think I'd be cleaning bottles and listening to you fucks bitch and moan all the time if he wasn't forcing me? I like being forced. Well, keep that to yourself, Niff. <laughs> what? You don't love being here with me, Whiskers? Call me Whiskers again and I'll jam that bottle down your throat. Kinky. Come on, keep talking dirty. See, that's oh the thing. Gosh. That's the thing. It, you'd have to come up with some, some stuff that would make Angel not... Like, just make Angel go, oh. But, I don't know if that's possible. Well, he, yeah. actually, actually, here's what he's like, uh, here's what he could do. Be like, Angel, I swear to God, you keep this up. I'm going to come over there. I'm going to tie you down, and I'm going to read you the Bible. Mm. And he'll just be like, uh, you'll read me the Bible? Yes. Well, I like the first part, but the second part sounds awful, so I guess I'll shut up now. <laughs> Thank you. Angel, let Hus do his job. And no, we can't force sinners to stay here. They need to choose to. I'm choosing to be here, and I think it's all stupid. We're in hell, toots. That's kind of the end of the road, ain't it? Well, maybe it doesn't have to be. Just because nobody has made it out before doesn't mean it's not possible. Hey, whatever means I can keep crashing here rent-free. Crack is expensive. <laughs> yeah, I, I can. Totally. Yeah, I'll head over there right away. You say, depends on who you get it okay. from. Okay. Huh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what is it? What? What's going on? My dad just called. He said that the leader of the Angel Army wants to meet. He asked if I could go instead. But, but the extermination just happened. <sighs> what could they want this soon? After I can do this. Oh, Somehow I know it. I'll get heaven behind my plan. Charlie, hold on. There's just no way I could blow it. Not this once in a lifetime chance. It's just a meeting. To change their minds and touch their hearts or whatever angels have. This could be bad. Cheer up, Faggy. This could be swell. Something tells me that today will be a happy day in hell. Oh, 
Why does this give me frozen vibes, by the way? I think it's because of... Like, well, she is a princess. Oh, yeah. Not only that, but, like, the bright blonde hair. It's, yeah. The bright blonde hair. And also, this quality of voice. This is very much, very close to Adina Menzel in terms of, like... Well, she is the Broadway. I like how you yeah. pause on the two BDSM demons fucking each other, though. <laughs> I could stay here all day, bro. <laughs> I, I didn't even notice that. You really didn't? No. It was right in the foreground of the shot. <laughs> I was watching her dancing. <laughs> that is crazy. Okay, go it's ahead. It's a realm so appealing it beats anywhere. If you don't mind the smell, it's a happy day in hell. Hi, mister. Go fuck yourself. There's an endless trash fire <laughs> that's burning my soul. Hello. Barbed wire to shove in his hole. Uh, excuse me. What is required? We all have. Oh my all gosh. Rules. I'm not doing well. <laughs> if I can show them the dream I've dreamed, that any soul can change. Those minds are hard to change. Everyone can be redeemed from the evil to the strength. They're bloodthirsty and enraged. I can hear all stories the lost and displaced and i know that they're more of an acquired taste but if i open the door and i give them a place and my husband <laughs> wow. it'll be a happy day in hell From i thought she was about to get hit by that thing yeah <laughs> hell of a like, hell of a post <laughs> yeah. i love i love that like, that's a tribute to Hell of a Boss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> From the porn studio where the cinephiles go to watch award winning TV and cookie shows to the cannibal town where they don't wear a frown. Oh, holy shit, oh my gosh. Why? <laughs> it's <laughs> cannibal town. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm just gonna fulfill my destiny. <laughs> that was great. Bitch. I can already tell. Today is gonna be a fucking happy day. In hell. <laughs> Hello? 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 Ding. Oh, okay. Also creepy. Uh, hello? Is anyone here? What's up? Holy oh, shit. Hi, um, I'm Charlie. My dad asked me if I could meet you. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, it's nice to meet you. Totally. Nice to meet you, too. Oh. Oh. Ah, I fucking got you. Did you fucking see that? Good shit. Uh, so wait, you aren't here? No. You think I'd come down there? <laughs> no, I mean, I love the vibe. Totally. I love your tunes. Pretty fucking hardcore, don't get me wrong. But it's such a bummer, man. Everything down there is just so, you know? <laughs> Ew. Right. So, I'm happy we got this opportunity to meet. There's a project I've been working on that I really want to talk to you about. Hey, 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 slow down. We got time. How about we get to know each other a little, hmm? How about some lunch? You hungry? I got you. Here's my personal favorite. You'll love it. Uh, thanks. Damn it. No. I got you again, bitch! <laughs> Fucking hilarious! <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Okay, so Charlie's the man from heaven. He's pretty foul mouth. Yeah, he? for sure. That's what I was thinking. He also looks suspiciously a lot like one of them. Yeah. 
It's like, well, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he's like on the lower rung of like the inhabitants of heaven, much like how the imps in hell are on the lowest rung of like of like the inhabitants of hell. I kind of wouldn't be surprised if like there's a whole thing where the people from hell think that heaven even cares enough to come down and do an extermination, but it's actually just like the higher up demons that are being dicks to their own, pretty much. Yeah, you know? probably. They're probably gonna heaven like, actually doesn't even care enough to mess with hell in this universe. Guarantee you, he's gonna like flick the halo off the top of his head. He's like, "That was a prop, you dipshits." Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. You mean to tell me you've been playing a prank on us for all of eternity? Pretty much. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm going to rip your heart out and make you watch it stop beating! Good luck with that. Don't got one. <laughs> oh. oh. While she's gone, we are making a new commercial, one that represents her vision and what we're doing here. So, we need a camera. Alistair? A video camera? Uh. All right, let's do this. And action. Actually, I'd be like, hey, Alistair, can I get like a Ari Alexa, like 20, like 2021 model? Because I at least know how to use that one. Go, go back just a tiny bit to where uh, where she holds up the camera. Hey, let's do this. And Keep going. And right there. What's wrong with that picture? <laughs> yeah. She, she's holding it up to her bad eye. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice that. Welcome to the Has Been Hotel. Can I help you with anything? Well, I've been a bad boy, and I need a big, strong daddy to put me in my place. He's gonna punch On you. On the path to redemption. <sighs> well, you come. Oh, yes. <laughs> to the right place. Cut. <laughs> okay, Angel, I need you to be less horny, if possible. And Hus, can you maybe not have the script in front of your face? I ain't no actor. I can't memorize this shit. Well, we could <laughs> improv this shit, baby cakes. <laughs> Whoops. Hus, come on. So I was playing this gig, and for some fucking reason, this virtue chick was digging on the drummer, and it's like, do you know who I am? I'm fucking Adam. I'm the original dick. All dicks descend from me. You think you want drummer dick? No way. I'm the dick fucking master. <clears throat> so, anyway, and we fucked, and it was awesome. What'd you do this weekend? Wait, your name is Adam? Like the first man, Adam? That means you. Oh... That explains so much. I know, I fucking rock. Well, Adam, <laughs> sir. Honestly. Wow. I, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what? I wouldn't be surprised if like it okay. Adam, Eve, and hell, Cain and Abel show up in this somehow, some way. Mm -hmm. I can only imagine Methuselah showing up at one point. Just being like, like, Methuselah. I, like, what are you doing here? It's like, I lived on Earth for over 900 years. I don't want to hear your bullshit. <laughs> Mr. Adam, sir. Call me Dick Master. Adam, you seem like a smart, <laughs> well, stand up guy. Uh huh. And I know you are the leader of the angels, and you are a big thinker, a revolutionary, a, a genius. I mean, your words, babe. Who would really love to put his name on something? I fucking love putting my name on shit. Shit's the best. It's a solution to our biggest problem. Oh, herpes. Yeah, that's a bitch. No. no. Our other biggest problem. Oh, uh, ugly people? Math. Global warming? Now, wait, that's Earth's problem. Um. All right, Nifty. 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 Your line is, we have the cleanest rooms, okay? Got it. I'm ready. Action. Oh. <laughs> Uh, cut. <laughs> How was that? Well, Nifty, you actually have to say the line. So let's roll again. Okay. Action. 
<laughs> Get doing. I gotta be honest. I know people who are like that. <laughs> it's like the very moment you put a camera on them, all of a sudden there's like like in front, of, like behind the camera, they're like the most energetic, most outgoing, and then you get them on camera, they're like. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, uh, I I got a phone. <laughs> that's that's it. That's I like it. totals. Yeah. <laughs> I like cats. Oh, great vagina. Cut. All right. Um, <laughs> maybe we can try to. You're doing great, vagina. Oh. Cut. <laughs> All right. Um, maybe we can try to fix it in post. Do you even know what that means? I'll figure it out. <laughs> Welcome to the Haskin Hotel. <sighs> In there, well, why are you even here? For the entertainment. I came here because I love seeing wasteful souls struggle to accomplish something meaningful and fail spectacularly, like you are doing now. Good job. And here is <laughs> Alistair, the egocentric piece of shit that. Ah. Yeah. I wouldn't try that, my dear. This face was made for radio. Whoa. <laughs> That's it. I don't care who or what you are. If you're staying here, you're gonna make this work. Because it won't be so entertaining to watch over an empty hotel, will it, shit ass? Fair enough. I'll tell you what. Let's make a deal. Oh, don't, don't you think shake I'm that his stupid, hand. Making a deal with a demon like you? Not for your soul, just a simple deal. I do this for you, and you never ask me to engage with this frivolous television technology ever again. Or Charlie can come back to absolutely nothing. Your choice. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> That's like a fucking commercial. You know, when you take her out for the fifth time and she still expects you to pay the check, but you're like, hey, I thought you wanted equality. No, our shared problem of overpopulation in hell. Oh. Well, that's not a problem. We got that covered. Loot, how many demons did you kill this year? Got to go 275 this year, sir. 275? Whoa, badass. Awesome job, Danger Tits. Found it. Uh, no, not awesome. Those are my people. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. That must suck for you. <laughs> but these are souls. Human souls, just the same as the ones you have up in heaven. They are not the same. They had their chance, and they earned damnation. You're wrong. Sinners made mistakes, sure, but everyone makes mistakes. Angels don't make mistakes. You really think that? I know that. Yeah, I've never made a mistake in my fucking life. The says, <laughs> says, says the, the guy that made, like, told about, like, all of his mistakes literally in the last couple of, <laughs> like, not, it's last week. Not only that, <laughs> like, but literally he's like, oh yeah, biggest problem, herpes. Like, yeah, this is like, what the fuck? The only reason you're still here is because Daddy gave you and your hellborn kind a pardon from an exorcist blade. How does that feel? To know how little you matter. Oops, almost out of time. Guess we should get into it. Oh, fuck! Ugh, ugh. Okay, I've got a lot to get through and not a lot of time, and I feel like you weren't hearing me before, so here it goes. <clears throat> is out of control. It's a bad situation. It's taking a toll. If we rehab these sinners and cleanse all their souls at my has-been hotel. Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Right, extermination. I know you guys fly down just to kill once a year. And it must be annoying to schlep all the way here. If they join you in heaven, that trip disappears. You can wave at your farewell. <gasps> It'll be a happy day. <laughs> Save us all precious time. Okay. If what you're suggesting is letting them climb up the ladder, oh, they'd rather cross the pearly gates. Well, uh... Sorry, sweetie, but there's no defying their fate. Cause hell is forever, whether you like it or not. Had their chance to behave better. Now they boil in the pot. Cause the rules are black and white. There's no use in trying to fight it. They're burning for their lives until we kill them again. Okay. 
Just but... try to chillax, babe. You're wasting your breath. <laughs> Did I hear you imply that they don't deserve death? Are they winners? Are they sinners? Cause it's cut and dry. Well, fair is fair, and I for an eye. Yeah. When all said and done, there's the question of fun. And for those of us with divine ordainment, extermination is. <laughs> Hell is forever, whether you like it or not. Had their chance to be like that, or now they boil in the pot. Cause the rules are black and white, there's no use in trying to fight it. They're burning for their lives until we kill them again. Fucking hell is forever, and it's meant to suck a lot. So give up your dumb endeavor, cause you don't have a shot. Long as I got your attention, I guess I should probably mention that we made the determination. I know it's just been a week, but we'll be back in six months! Oh, wait, can you... Oh, 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 oh. oh shit! Damn. Charlie! To be honest, like, Charlie. I was afraid of the musical aspect of this making me dislike it, but... They've done really well with the first couple songs so far. Yes. Guitar solo. <laughs> they've been like equally like funny and good music yes. like they're just as good as disney songs if not better yeah so. that's a compliment ladies and gentlemen yeah he got he's he's complimenting <laughs> Where'd it go? Did they listen? Oh, uh, they sure did hear it, but, um... Oh, come here! We have something exciting to show you. Alistair pulled some strings and it's about to air. I pulled a few limbs, too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the commercial? You all made a new one? Yeah, one of my better performances, if I do say so myself. That's... that's amazing. Shh, it's starting. Welcome to the Hasbin Hotel. Oh, 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 bitch! Breaking news in hell today. We have just received word from the Heaven Embassy that the next extermination is happening sooner than ever before. Do you know what that means, Tom? No, what does that mean, Katie? It means we're all royally fucked. Wait, what? Why? We found the body, sir. They've never managed to kill one of us before. Uh. We should just go down there now and destroy them. No, no. We can't risk them catching on. But don't worry. When we come back, there won't be a demon left alive to pull a stunt like this again. Oh. That explains a lot, actually. Yes, it does. Why did all the performances sound better than they did in the trailer, by the way? I think it's because... Uh, here's here's the thing I will say. If... If... Instead of putting the best stuff in the trailer, instead you put the stuff that you're not 100% on. And Maybe thus, it gives great. you time to work and make it, make it that much better for, like, the final product. Hmm. That makes sense. I guess it's just like uh, you don't want to turn people off with a trailer because there's some people that won't watch it if they don't like the trailer. You know? But yeah. I think most people did like the trailer. But there's some people out there like you who were just like, eh, it's more middling mm. than more middling than like truly excited. Well, it obviously didn't make me like not want to watch it. I was just like, man, I'm worried about some of these performances, you know. Yeah. But to be honest, like... Now I don't care. This was dope. Yes. Yeah, it was awesome. Well done. Look at the detail they put in that wallpaper. Yeah. The, I was going to talk about it earlier. Um, behind Vaggie or whatever. Yes. Uh, That's really cool. Indeed it is. I'm really excited to watch more of this. Uh, 
I, I think Hasbin Hotel's episode one is actually better than Hell of a Boss's episode one. I would say so too. My favorite, still it's my favorite. Hell of favorite. a Boss, like the the uh, the pilot was awesome. Yeah. Episode one was a little bit of a step backwards, but then they picked back up. Lulu Land just got better and better and better. Dude, for it. me, yeah. Lulu Land is their best episode. But like, this was a very strong episode one. So now they have a strong pilot and episode one for this series. So it's looking really good. Yes. So you see, everybody, we liked it. And we liked it a lot. It was worth the wait. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let me teach you all a secret. If you're pessimistic about shit. You never have to be disappointed if it sucks. But you get pleasantly surprised when it doesn't. Well, not only that, but... I'm having a good day now. Well, not only that, <laughs> but here's another thing, too. Never be, afraid to be, good day, never be afraid to be critical of things that you're excited for. Mm -hmm. That's like me, whenever... We would have a derpy-ass-looking fucking Sonic the Hedgehog right now if people didn't say something. Exactly. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. Excuse me. Thank you. Uh, so, has been Hotel, the first episode. I am very pleased with this. I am this really was, excited. <laughs> this was amazing. It was really, really good. So I got, are, are they releasing this every week, or how? Are I they think it's a new episode schedule? every week on Amazon. Okay. I think I. It's going to be really hard to uh, not go. <laughs> The rest of Hold it. on, let's see what let's see what the release schedule looks like on Prime Video. Oh no! Uh are they all up? Uh four episodes are up right now. Huh. So we can watch more if we want to. You shouldn't have told me that. Don't do it. I won't. It's gonna Don't be really hard. Do it. Don't, Don't do, it. do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Maybe we can watch another one on Saturday or something. <laughs> we'll see. We will see. Well, if we're gonna, if Nate's gonna take time off when the movie comes out, we do need to start getting ahead on certain things. So. I agree. I definitely agree. Which means that we need to start doubling up when we watch episodes of shows as well. Well, we've done that before. Yep. I'm not opposed to it. Well. <sighs> and we're gonna be like snowed in and with negative temperatures outside so <laughs> what better <laughs> better time than the present I have to dig my car out tomorrow and go get stuff before that happens though not looking forward to that well oh, you should have told us that why because you're supposed to get like freezing rain and snow again tonight tonight uh huh Good to know. Well, here's the hoping that it won't be as bad. Hopefully not. Well, I mean, I did tell Nate that's what I was planning to do. Oh. Well, either way. It, we'll figure it out. Anyway. Yeah, we gotta move on from this. This yeah. was this was Vimsy Pop with Hasman Hotel, the first episode. I have nothing else to say except for amazing. Yes. Truly amazing and worth the wait. Worth it in every way. Damn. Amazing. So, that's going to do it, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I'm Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care. Peace. <laughs>